Hey yo, what's good everybody? I'm TK Lay Day Day, aka Tense Dex. Welcome to the mix up. Today we're talking the most important first step of each and every mix. We're talking game staging. Please subscribe, like, hit the notification bell so each and every time I drop a video, you get a notification. Same time. Let's go. Okay, these are raw files. Nothing done to them. No EQ, no compression, nothing at all. So I'm just gonna play. Uh, I'm just gonna play the song so you can hear everything is a mess. Hey, but I look at it a tough love. Yeah. Somebody had to put you in your face, don't you ever get it fucked up? Okay, cool. So we talking gain staging, right? What is gain staging? You are creating headroom for everything, for your wave files, your vocals, your your drums, so that you can start using your plugins. Gain staging happens before plugins, before you uh insert an eq or a compressor or saturation plugging so let me show you an example of how to gain stage also uh how to create headroom right hey, but I'm gonna solo the kick okay cool let me show you an example of what gain staging does so you can see i don't have any headroom on my eq Let's say I wanted to boost my EQ. I wanted some low end. Now you can see that my EQ is clipping. So how do we solve this problem without clipping our plugins? So on Pro Tools, we use a trim plugin. I think on Studio One is a gain plugin. Also on uh, FL Studio, I don't know what they call it, but I'm also going to show you. So for example, right? You saw that I was clipping uh, the EQ at the same time. I didn't have enough headroom for my kick for me to insert plugins or let's say I wanted to add a compressor after the EQ. I wouldn't have like uh, headroom. So what you what we usually do is we use a trim plugin. So this plugin, it takes down the volume of the um, the kick so that you have enough headroom for your if you want to add additional plugins, let's say, for example, let's take this down. So you can tell that uh, I have headroom before hitting my EQ so I can boost. You saw I boost that. What I'm doing is very drastic just to show you what uh gain staging can also do to your uh individual instruments you don't use your fader for gain staging i'm on my mixer right now i'm gonna take down the kick you can hear the kick is low the volume is low but i am still clipping i'm about to clip my plugin you see i'm clipping my plugin but it's low so before you hit your plugins you make sure you have headroom so right now i'm still clipping even though i took down my mixer um fader down i'm still clipping we need to make sure that we don't clip our plugins at the same time we don't actually have to do drastic changes with our faders and then let me do this See, I'm not clipping my plugin. Uh, another important thing about gain staging also is analog plugins because they have a sweet spot. When I gain stage, I use a VU meter. Um, a VU meter helps me to reach that sweet spot, which is minus 18. You can see it's minus 18 here. So you can tell the, the sweet spot of the plugin is minus 18, which is zero. So it works best when you hit the sweet spot which is minus 18 if you want saturation if you want the plugin to work at its best you hit minus 18 which is zero with the vu meter right like you see right now i'm i'm clipping i'm clipping my vu meter like analog plugins a lot of them their sweet spot is minus 18 and minus 18 is zero what i do every single time because i don't want to clip my plugins
so now you can see i'm hitting zero minus 18 so uh whatever emulation of analog plugins that i'm gonna use after this whether it's a compressor or it's an eq i want to gain stage this i'm gonna do the same thing though like it's the same thing let's just see where we're peaking So another important thing about uh, gain staging is you don't need to hit minus 18 on all of your plugins. You see, like, for example, right now I'm hitting minus three to five. You just have to use your ears don't hit everything at minus 18 uh let me show you with the snap you see with the snap it's also loud at the same time it's hitting minus minus three right so let's say for example you're hitting here right and you're automatically thinking oh my god this is not minus 18 let me boost the volume of the of the snap or of the clap of the hi-hats no you don't do that what i initially do with hi-hats is i take them down i don't even use a vu meter for them because they are the transients are so are so fast they're so snappy like the first hit a transient is the first hit of of a kick or a snare or a clap let me do this let me solo this vocal Had rust up might fuck up all your plans nigga shut up me a little bro on a record that's a thumbs up trying to get big bucks just to get it summed up i'm still top tier meaning i'm stuck up we run the city now we aiming for the world cup okay cool let's check where we're hitting Had him rust up might fuck up all your plans, nigga. Shut up. Me and Lil Bro on a record. That's a thumbs up. Trying to get big bucks just to get it summed up. I'm still top tier, meaning I'm stuck up. We run the city, now we aiming for... So I, I feel like um, the vocal is not too loud. It's not clipping. Got him brushed up. Might fuck up all your plans. You see now I'm hitting the sweet spot. The only thing I did was just uh, change the release. So now I can leave the... Uh, compressor just like this because it's compressing and I'm hitting the sweet spot. Got him brushed up, might fuck up all your plans, nigga. Shut up, me. I'm not even clip, uh, clipping the plugging because I'm hitting the sweet spot. So now, maybe in my head, I'm like, oh, this is loud, you know, I can just take it down a little bit. Got him brushed up, might fuck up all your plans, nigga. Shut up, me and little bro on a record. That's a thumbs up, trying to get big bucks just to get it summed up. I'm still top tier, meaning I'm. Uh, before I go to Studio One and FL Studio, I just want to make something clear also, right? Like, um... Up. Might fuck up all your plans, nigga. Shut up. Me and Lil Bro on a record. That's... Just want to make something clear. This is... I think this is a, it's also going to be a dope example. With the snap. Okay, cool. You can hear the snap is so loud, right? And I'm hitting, let's say minus six. I'm hitting minus six. The snap is so loud compared to the kick. And let me do this. Move this. This is what I'm talking about. With the kick, I'm hitting, this is the kick, right? I'm hitting almost close to zero. And with the... Um, with the snap, I'm hitting almost close to five. But the snap is louder. That's that's because it has faster transients. The snap is louder than the kick. So what I usually do is when it comes to this, I take it down. You see where I'm hitting now. So you don't need to take the, the snap to minus three so in studio one um what you can do for gain staging or for a trim plugin you go here input control then you get this and then you get this let's say how you use it for I'm brushed up 
Might fuck up all your plans, nigga. Shut up. Me and Lil Bro on a record that's a thumbs up. Trying to get big bucks just to get it summed up. I'm still top tier, meaning I'm stuck up. We run the city, now we aiming for the... That's how you do it. Then we open our compressor. We had him brushed up. Might fuck up all your plans, nigga. Shut up. You see, it's doing the same thing uh that i was doing on pro tools because a lot of people are like yo no we don't understand pro tools why don't you use fl studio like the concepts that i'm showing you on uh pro tools you can just take them to fl studio or to studio one i'm doing the same thing it's just that we have different mixes you know we have the different channel racks we have different everything like even the layout is hella different but we can use the insets and just use plugins the same way you would do on fl studio or on pro tools like it's so simple so i'm using a different view meter because uh i can't find the other one on um fl studio actually i didn't look ah, let me not lie I didn't look for that one so anyway it's the same concept That's what you do in terms of gain staging when it comes to FL Studio. You use these knobs. Before using your faders, make sure you gain staging. Your faders are are for uh, balancing everything together. You know what I mean? This can be your snare. This can be your, your hi-hat or whatever. They're not for gain staging. I hope by now you know what gain staging is. Gain is how loud a track is before processing. Gain is your input levels volume is your output level changing your volume levels does not change your input level so remember that at all time so please like subscribe hit the notification bell so each and every time i drop a video you get it same time peace